Wearables, we love them, we gotta have them, but does this year's entry from Asus have what it takes to tango with the big boys? I'm Mark Burson, I'm a Techno Buffalo, and this is the ZenWatch 2. Just a quick disclaimer off the top of the video, I used the ZenWatch 2 over a period of three days. I'm gonna continue using it for a little while, but that was the official review period. The ZenWatch 2's primary selling point is its affordability. The base model comes in at a cool 130, while competitors like the Moto 360 are asking twice that price. The model that we have here in the office to test is the $150 model with a leather strap. Once you've become pretty accustomed to Android Wear, most devices running it kind of meld together. So let's focus on what makes the ZenWatch 2 different. The ZenWatch 2's form factor is a bit striking when you compare it to other Wear devices, probably because of those giant bezels. Seriously, the giant bezels, they're huge. Aside from the bezels though, I actually kind of quite like the look. I I'm usually not one for square wearables, but the rounded corners on the device and the kind of subtle curves around the back almost, almost make me forget that the display itself is square. Overall though, it's a kind of unassuming device. It's like pretty enough, it's not ugly. Aside from the gigantic bezels, it's actually pretty decent. Where I hoped the ZenWatch 2 would excel was in its battery life, and fortunately, it didn't disappoint. In fact, I found it on par with the brand new Moto 360, this year's Moto 360. It can easily make it through a full day, day and a half, with some juice left in the tank, and that's with ambient mode turned on. The display is much smaller than the Moto 360s, but the colors are still pretty strong and the screen is just as responsive as most Wear devices, so at least so far as I can tell. The accelerometer is super responsive too, everything behaves as it should, lifting it to your face, in fact maybe the accelerometer is even just a little bit too responsive, lifting it to your face, everything works as you would expect it to. In fact, everything else on the device is pretty standard Android Wear fare. 4 gigs of storage on board, half a gig of RAM, a Snapdragon 400 clocked at 1.2 gigahertz, you know, all the usual stuff. It does have a slightly lower resolution screen at 320 by 320 for a PPI of 278, but it's more than enough to get the job done, and truthfully, it's small, you know, it's on my wrist, I'm not watching movies on the thing. I'm not huge on the charger that ASUS provided, but it's the least of my worries to be honest. The one notable omission here is the heart rate sensor, but to be honest I find that to be more of a novelty than anything else. I don't use it all that often on my Moto 360 and I have a hard time believing that people do use that often to begin with. Of course, in typical ASUS fashion, there is also a plethora of software features that you can take advantage of if you should so choose. I'm super thankful though that ASUS made most of these optional downloads and didn't saddle the device down with them, so bravo ASUS, nicely done. There are just too many apps, integrations, and ASUS specific features to outline here, but suffice it to say that if you're in ASUS's ecosystem, you're gonna be pretty happy with the features offered. You can do custom watch faces, you can have alerts based on your ASUS phone, all kinds of fun stuff. If you're not an ASUS user for your mobile device, you still have an Android Wear device, so it's really no skin off your back. I keep waiting for a big catch here. The device itself is half the price of some competitors, so there must be something that I'm missing, right? Well. Doesn't seem like there is. To my eyes, the ZenWatch 2 is a fantastic bargain at its price point. My only reservation is that the look and feel of the device might not be for everyone. So if you like or can deal with at least the giant bezels, the ZenWatch 2 makes for an excellent choice for those of you looking for a wear device on a budget. There you go guys, my thoughts on the ZenWatch 2. I actually really enjoyed using this thing. I'm super surprised and I'm kind of surprised with myself because I'm considering keeping it over the Moto 360, especially given the price point. I wanna grab one for my wife too because they're only 150 bucks. What do you guys think? Are those bezels just a little bit too much for you guys? Not quite enough to justify that $150 price point? Let me know in the comments. You can also hit that subscribe button if you'd like to come over to my house for a awesome tea party that I'm having this weekend. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Be kind to one another and I'll talk to you in the next video.